wanted to hop on and just thank today's sponsor which is seed for sponsoring this portion of today's video um you guys know we are longtime friends and partners with seed um and we love their dso1 daily symbiotic i keep their travel vial in my purse because mom brain honestly like i have been forgetting so many things lately you guys know if you're a mom or if you're pregnant like that is real i never understood what people said by that but you just forget things and as like my supplement and like health routine having to like take all of like my vitamins and my probiotics and stuff like that sometimes i forget so i've been leaving the travel vial in my purse because i'll like remember on the way to the gym or maybe midday like for going out for a meeting or something and i just like having the travel vial in my bag just in case i don't remember to take it in first thing in the morning so if you're not familiar with what this is it's basically a prebiotic and a probiotic combined a probiotic is just like adding good bacteria into your gut and your gut health is kind of the center of your body and your system it regulates everything um it's like gonna be your bloating your digestion it which is all gonna affect your mental health your mood your energy your skin health everything like that it's like truly the center of the body um since having smoke like hunter and i as you guys know just are really trying to like keep on our health routine because you cannot keep up with a baby if you are not on point i take this literally every day because it just helps me regulate everything and helps me make sure my digestion is going well um helps with bloating like i said my skin health and my immunity especially heading into the winter months because i cannot afford to get sick <laughs> i'm like it's gonna be a whole thing if if we get sick in this household um especially just now with a kid involved like you really want to make sure you're staying on top of it so your gut health is sort of at the center of that this is a really really easy thing that you can do for your health like right away um, especially like heading into the colder months if you want to kind of like boost yourself a little bit and um, maybe add in something for your gut health and you haven't done it yet I highly recommend checking out seed it is like the best one on the market you guys like I actually feel so truly honored that they have chosen to work with us and this is like our favorite partnership because the product is so incredible and they're such like a research-backed company that um, is just filled with really smart people that have developed a really great symbiotic for the market and it's really the best one that you can have you don't have to refrigerate it which is the best you just throw it in your bag it's literally so easy um, and it'll come with this travel vial and the regular one that we show all the time you get both containers when you sign up and then they'll just resend you the packets every month so it's like super eco-friendly not wasting any materials all that stuff so check them out i'll have it in the description box down below and we always have a code with them so i'll put the code here that will get you a discount off of your first month and um yeah sign up especially going into the winter i'm uh heading back to f45 real quick i love my water water okay and i'll be home in like 10 minutes okay see you soon bye bye oh so cute I am so excited because today is this <laughs> sounds terrible I'm so grateful for our nanny starting but today is my first day that I get to be just a smoke by myself and I'm literally so, never been happier I'm so excited um and it's not that it, I don't like the nanny I love her um it's just this first week was I've been, literally never been like so emotional and anxious in my life. Um, it was really hard for me. <sighs> and I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about it. Anyways, um, hi. <laughs> hi. I love you. <sighs> Sorry, I'm still trying to feel, figure out how I feel about it. Um, and if it's the right choice for me. It just takes getting some getting used to, even though I really, really like her. And I love everything, how she is with Smoke. Smoke loves her, everything. I don't, it's not that or anything about that. Um, and I actually feel really comfortable 
her taking care of him. So it's not like a matter of that. It's just like me sort of reevaluating maybe what I really want. And I just really value the time that I get to, to be with him. And I didn't realize, I always thought, oh, I'm gonna be like a working mom. I don't know if I, you know, will want to be a stay-at-home mom and now I'm like do I want to be a stay-at-home mom I don't know I'm very emotional about it oh anyways I'm just like processing a lot of feelings and I'm very happy to be with him today so we'll just leave it at that okay ready Stand. Okay. oh my goodness that was a good burp what you want to do today mm hmm do you want so much of a fun? Mm -hmm. You want to have so much fun together? I would love that. I'm like, I think, very exhausted. Um, one good thing I'll say, like having some help this week, and it's only a couple of days a week. Um, I like didn't realize like how little I actually am able to do when taking care of him so i was like okay it's definitely like needed and i realized that especially like work stuff and things like that um and i also didn't realize how tired i was but <laughs> i was so anxious this week because of the whole transition and you know not understanding how to navigate it um that i like wasn't falling asleep till like midnight 1 a.m every night and so now i'm tired and when i'm tired i cry and i get really frustrated but um so it's just been a really hard week for me emotionally um and i'm just feeling lots of lots of big feelings so anyways i'm just so excited to be with my little man today i want to be there for every bottle every diaper change every cry every little moment i don't want to miss a wink no i don't i don't want to miss anything okay i love you you're just cute <laughs> Recognize that today's a relaxing day. I know. Okay? I know. I'm so happy about it. I'm like, I'm so tired. Hey, buddy, good morning. Hi. Mmm. 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 Hunter is an egg bite hater, so I'm gonna make him my breakfast salad and see if he likes it. 17 grams of protein, I mean, you can't beat that. Whoop it up. Hi. Whoops, there it is. Oh yeah, I forgot that there's cottage cheese in the egg bites, Hunter. You love that. I'm gonna just convert him into an egg bite eater because of that protein baby. All right, so we're gonna do the mixed greens. 
and then my homemade dressing which i've showed before i talked about this i have a highlight under my instagram it's called breakfast salad and the dressing's under there um it's just like olive oil dijon lemon salt and pepper that's basically what that is and then we're gonna do egg bites avocado got our egg bites in the air fryer nice and crispy put one on two on top of each Cholula on top, the avocado. Voila. Okay. Let's dig in. First try. All your opinion, don't bullshit me. You're allowed mm -hmm. to have your opinion. Hey, make a couple bites. Okay. It's good. Mm hmm Tastes clean. What? I'm ready. <laughs> Not your flavors. No, it's good flavors. It's good. I have no complaints. Okay. Just like me, you're not. It's definitely customized to my palate. Like you wouldn't be like craving it every morning. What What would you rank this on a scale of one to ten? Like you it's actually it? not that great. Oh, you don't it's like just, it? It's just no. I do like it. It's just very simple. It's simple. It's like not really like a meal where you're like, oh my god, it's just greens and I don't know. Yeah, I I think it tastes exactly what I would expect it to taste like. It's uh -huh. good. Mm -hmm. And it's clean. It's more veggies than I would eat in the morning. Mm -hmm. I like the the crunch you get from the egg bites. I know. The crisp. Mm -hmm. Better than when you're at Starbucks too, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I'm definitely having a hard time. I like literally did not expect this at all. And I can't really figure out what, like where the anxiousness is coming from i'm like is it i almost feel i what's weird is that i don't know if it's necessarily being away from him because i feel like if this were like my own family member then i would feel fine about it like i wouldn't i wouldn't feel so i don't know i think maybe it's just like having someone else around even though she's like really great I think it just like takes me a while to like let people in and I think I mean I think that's pretty adorable but oh my god I'm so sorry I like it I just can't stop crying I don't know what it is like all all week this has been literally every day and I just for some reason I can't process it I just have to like move it through I'm trying to like figure it out up here so I can just move forward to the next phase and like or just let go a little and have a little trust but i'm just like stuck in this frustration right now <sighs> of trying to figure out like <sighs> how i'm going to cope with this, this situation is all um anyways it's obviously something i want to like i gotta figure out on my own and you know with hunter and talk it through um and i will share more once i figured it out but i can't like i don't want to process everything on the freaking internet it just adds to it and everyone's opinions and everything is like sometimes it just pushes me over the edge and then i want to just like shut down so <sighs> okay we're not gonna do this today oh. So anyways, I'm sorry. I apologize in advance if I cry this entire vlog. I might. Fair <laughs> warning, I might cry the entire vlog. Okay, so we are going to go on a walk once Smokers gets up from his nap. So I'm so excited. I'm like, miss our, just our little daily walks. So I'm going to get dressed. These are fuzzy. I've been applying my moisturizer with a makeup brush. <laughs> love it for some reason i don't know why it feels like a little more luxurious i don't know what it is just like kind of more of a little pamper it's moment um it's very nice still using the first a beauty ultra repair I'm ride or die for this baby three years going strong my go-to moisturizer and i was saying actually um 
they actually just got the eczema seal on it. This is not an ad. I just truly like love their products. Um, if you have like really sensitive skin and hard time finding things that work for you, try First Aid Beauty. Um, all their stuff is like clean, vegan, cruelty free, great for sensitive skin, like all of it. It's very gentle and all the products are like typically all under $50. So it's really gentle, just like clean, good skincare at a good price point that's why i love it it's just like obviously i love to splurge on a little product or two for like nice stuff like this vintner's daughter oil oh my god i love this stuff i'm literally you guys this is out i need a new bottle this stuff i love especially moving into winter like a little extra boost in hydration but just for like an every day love this so much actually really like their cleanser too it's amazing their bump eraser i mean their whole line, honestly, if just go on the site, anything that pops out to you. But if you have like issues finding skincare that's gentle for you or you break out from stuff, try their products. Okay, I've also been, what is going on here? I've been like habit breaking out in hives this week. I It's literally all around my eyes. I don't know if you guys can see the inflammation. I don't know if it has to do with like my stress. Or, um, no, it started actually a couple weeks ago when I was in California when my dad got hurt. I started breaking out in hives. And maybe it is a stress response, I'm not really sure, but, um, been dealing with that, so that's interesting. I think it's just taking a couple days for my body to adjust and, like, uh, for it to get out of my system and everything. But, anyways, I'm just putting on a little bit of something. We're gonna go to the park. Just want to have a little bit of bronzer on. I love for like gym makeup or like park makeup. The Merit Beauty stuff is really lightweight. Or if I just want like a really natural makeup day, their products are so great. They're really, really nice. Um, let just get a little wash. Do her. Just a little bronzer so we look alive. And we need to do brow gel. That's the one thing I will not skip on. Oh, I put on my first self tan of the season. Did I tell you that yesterday? I think I maybe did. I did Loving Tan Platinum. It's pretty intense. It's nice and dark, but it looks really good. And very happy with it. Um, Oh yeah, I think I did mention that in the video. Make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never go brows. How much I love. Always going all day. We're gonna turn it away. Good to come to me. A bushel and a pack. A bushel and a pack. And a hug around his neck. A hug around his neck. <laughs> All right, we are heading to the park for Mr. Booker, Mr. Smoke, and Miss Dujet. You ready? Ready. Oh my goodness, so cute! Look at that smile! <laughs> okay, just got home, went out to run a few errands, and I really wanted to get some cute plants for the house. So I wanted to go to Trader Joe's. I went to Whole Foods the other day, and I didn't like any of the flowers that they had, so I was like, let's pop into Trader Joe's. They had some vibey fall stuff, obviously. And I love the colors. I feel like, can you see the palette Hunter and I kind of going for? Like a lot of like deep, moody colors at the moment, especially with all the white. It's really pretty. So what I really liked there was that they had a lot of really pretty plants. Look at this guy. Beautiful, like mauve color. I haven't even showed Hunter the plants actually. This one. So pretty, he stayed in the car with smoke. I just love the colors, the shape of the leaves. And then this guy, which I just thought was super fun with like the shape of the leaves. 
like more pointy and I love this box too. I was like, I don't like keep them in the box, but anyways, they're really cute. So I was like, let's just get the trio. I want like the stack and I was like, I don't know where we're gonna put them, but I just felt like they looked good as a family. So I needed all of them. See how like the variety just looks cute. Yeah, I know. Okay, and then for fall leaves, I got these ones. I wanted more of these guys, but they only had one. So let's put them up in vases and we'll figure out where to put them in the house. And then I have to get ready soon. I put the florally kind, sorry, the more like whimsy kind in this vase. And I think I might add, I kind of like it just by itself. Kind of like it just by itself, I think actually. Shorter one. Perfect. All right, flowers are cut and put on the coffee table. They look really pretty. Okay, so next, sorry, I have so much crap in the stairwell. Um, I wanted to test this light fixture at the top of the stairs. Okay, so here's the light fixture. It's really cool. It's like kind of Spanish style. Um, so I was thinking either, I'm trying to be quiet because the baby's sleeping, two of them on that wall, or I was thinking just at the top of the stairwell. Stairwells are kind of boring. Mm, it's a little bit tall for the stairwell, isn't it? Unless you did like three. One yeah. in the middle, one at the end. Let me look at it from down here. I don't know. I think it might actually look cuter. Well, up on the wall. You go light art obviously hung up and then another light and it would kind of connect the downstairs to the upstairs totally. because from downstairs down there yeah you'd only see one light and it half of the art yeah. and you would kind of know like it's more up here i think we could do sconce art sconce and then like you said a little stool or like a little vintage like something if you want to do a bench underneath the art mm, i'm not that or kind of like something offset. I think the offset would be nice. Okay. Yeah. I think it'll look a lot more nice. Yeah. These are really nice. Oh, I guess you can go out straight out the back with the wire. Oh. Okay. Like this one curves down. This town. I'll just dig it out. This town is really cute. It's, it's been really bad. cute. All right, I think we're gonna do the lights. But regardless, I think that art should go right there. We tried it above our bed, and I don't think we really like it above our bed. It's a really cool pattern, but with how beige our bed is, it's just all kind of so beige. Anywho, that's a good piece of art. We like it a lot. All right. Do you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? Yeah, oh my yeah. gosh. You see yourself in the mirror? Do you love looking at yourself? It's his favorite thing to do lately. I just showed these on Instagram, but these really cute pajamas by this company called Moon Fruit, and I just thought the patterns were really cute, kind of different than what you see most places. Little aliens, aliens smiley, smiley faces, faces and pumpkin spice, Ooh. and mushrooms. Oh, that one's Ooh, so cute. New jam jams for you. We're gonna call you Yoshi. So cute. So really cute Yoshi. patterns. The materials are really soft too. Just did some first aid beauty ultra repair. I'm gonna do Giorgio Armani tonight. I'm gonna mix that with a pump of the Lancome Caring Glow. So it's nice and tan. And I really like that formula. Mix those together. Too Faced Born This Way. Um, wait, is it? Yeah, the multi-use uh, sculpting concealer. I really like this stuff. Really, really creamy. And it blends really well. And I have like two different shades because I'm kind of in between shades right now. And so I'm just mixing them because I don't want to buy a whole new one. Okay, for my bronzer, I'm also going to take that same concealer, but I have it in the shade Chestnut, which is really dark, but I really like this for like when I am really, really tan. Only works like a handful of times. Um, 
for my like cream bronzer. I'm a dibs girl through and through pretty much. I love dibs, but when I have a nice deep tan on, I just really like this color. And it's obviously concealer, so it's super creamy, easy to blend, but it is very pigmented, so you have to be careful. Okay, blush. I'm gonna do some of this Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pink Pop. Okay, this blush I have been loving. It's She's a Doll by Patrick Ta, and I know that it's like pretty popular, but I only got it just kind of recently and I just adore it. Color is literally makes you look like a baby doll. It's so pretty. And like pink it gives you that like perfect literal baby doll look. And then I also love the um, cream side of that. So I'm gonna set my under eye first and then I'm gonna go back and do the cream at the end. Cream see the cream takes it to the next level it's so pretty yes sir yes sir we love okay love that blush lately so great okay now i'm gonna do freckle pen and i drew on freckles and it just looks so cute especially with the blush And then I did the Makeup by Mario palette. Yeah, I'm gonna go this light brown in my like outer half of my eye. And then I'm gonna take the lighter shades and put them kind of on the inside to like open up my eye. My mom brain is so bad, you guys. I literally just forgot where I was going today. I'm like, where am I going again? Oh my God, I swear. And I, you can't explain it to like men. Like Hunter will be like, "What? where is your brain? Like, what are you thinking about? And I'm like, I, I don't know, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm literally an idiot. Like, I just, you can't keep it straight. Like, if you know what I mean, like, you know what I mean. It's just so hard to like, keep it all together up here. I don't know what it is. Like literally ever since having a child, I am dumb. I am dumb. Okay. Next, brown liquid eyeliner. And I'm gonna do a cute little wing. So basically if that eye look is like super soft, it's not even really an eye look. And then this I'm gonna go up a flick. And do like a little a little wing like that. Nothing too crazy. Okay, I'm like in that phase where the eyeliner's not matching on both sides, but I'm like, gotta go. Alright. A little bit of shadow on bottom, not much though. Okay. And then we are gonna curl. The lashes and do mascara. I wish I had, I had full lashes, but I literally don't have any, which is the weirdest thing ever. I normally have lashes, but I think I went through a phase where I wasn't wearing lashes at all, but they're kind of cute for events or just like, you know, like a night out or something. It's nice to have like a little lash, nothing crazy, but just like individuals or something to put on the outer corner. I need to get some. Okay, I'm doing, I've been back to my Lash Craft Big Volume by Sport Collection. I am like all over the place with mascaras. I just can't, I don't know. I can't find one that I'm like ride or die for. I do really like the Lancome ones, but then sometimes they feel like they dry out. So I don't know. This one is very voluminous. Like I have to like wipe it off on the tube. Okay. 
Okay, lip, I'm just gonna do my signature Nude Beige by NYX. First though, I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow above my lip. Can I actually look bigger? See, it's like a contour. Amazing, right? Okay, so we'll do that first and then NYX, Nude Beige. I freaking love this lip liner. It just like looks good no matter what. It's so neutral. It's kind of like, reminds me of like the equivalent of OPI, put it in neutral for nails. Like she looks good on any skin tone. Like you could be deep, deep dark and fair as hell and like that color would look good on you. I feel like that is the same thing. Um, it's just such a good neutral. Well, I guess on like a, probably on a, a really deep skin tone it would be too light but you know what i'm saying nails are different because it's not like on your actual skin it's like you know you get it you know what i mean but if you're dark then heads up okay so see how it's like doll like i don't know i think it's cute see how pretty guys it's so nice right like I don't know, just with the little flick, the eyeliner, and then pink blush. Yeah, so really pretty in good lighting. Um, and this light actually in this bathroom, like it never messes me up because um, it's pretty bright. But I would just like to show you guys like in the actual window because you can really like see what it looks like. Okay, for my hair, I think I'm gonna go slick back bun because my hair is kind of greasy unless I want to dry shampoo it because I was gonna do a strapless top and I feel like well it could look cute. Mm. I don't know. Okay, let's just do slick back bun. Here in a ponytail. Pretty. And then okay. Now I'm just gonna twist all around. sort of like a scrunchie okay how's that pretty good my hair is actually very fine and thin so it makes it really easy to do buns so i guess that's one advantage of having fine and thin hair okay i'm gonna switch my earrings um okay so pants are revolve girlfriend denim they're like a really wide leg baggy style um so pretty though like very cool and the top is Beachy Dolls. I have a code for them, Julia Save 25. Such a good classic basic top. It's like very timeless. Shoes are the Beachy Doll heels. I think I showed these in my last haul if you guys follow along. Um, and they just been crushing it this season. Um, and then my bag I actually got off of wish.com. So random. That's the T. I was just like honestly curious and I just ordered it. I wasn't like trying to like have a dupe or anything or like act like I got a sleeping bag, but um, I was just curious, like I was getting some things there and I was like, hmm, I wonder if that like looks pretty good and it's just been cute. So I don't know, I've been wearing it. Um, okay, and then my earrings are Lily Clasp, so gorgeous. And my ring and my watch ring is Amazon because you guys already know if you're part of the family, like shit got stolen in France um my ring so sad and i haven't gotten a new one but i think we are gonna try to get my new ring soon like by christmas time it's just like every time we go to do it i think i actually found the one that i want um every time we go to do it i'm like oh i just feel like you know we don't i don't need it like it's just like a luxury but i'm like well i want like my wedding ring you know but and hunter's like get it get it get it i just always like feel it's like when you know when you make a big purchase and it's for you you like it's, i have a hard time being like okay yeah like i want to do that because i'm like i could just go without it but anyways um okay oh my stanley all right friends jill and i just watched some tv smoke's been asleep for a little bit and we're <laughs> off to bed i don't want to wake him up so i think we say 
sleeping right here because he's sleeping already. All right, we love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you mañana.